from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Good morning guys. First thing in the morning I have to have coffee. So I always make myself an iced coffee. I don't care what time of the year it is. I pull four shots from my Breville espresso machine right over there. I've shown you guys that in other videos. And here is what I put in my coffee and it is one smart point. So I put one scoop of the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. You can find this at Costco. Also on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. But collagen peptides are great for joint recovery, your hair, your nails, your skin, elasticity as you age. I mean, it is just so many great benefits. It's zero points. The actual supplement information wants you to add two scoops of the collagen peptides. Honestly, I just add one to my coffee every day because sometimes I make a smoothie and I'll add it to that as well. But one scoop a day is what I've been doing and I love it. For my coffee, I also have been using my Picnic Collagen Creamer, so I'm getting that little extra dose of collagen. This is grass-fed collagen with MCT oil coffee creamer. You guys, this has a fantastic ingredients, and it tastes really good, and it makes your coffee nice and creamy. And you can have a quarter cup for 40 calories or one smart point. So that's what I do. There's your nutritional information, your ingredients. So that's what I do, is I do one fourth cup for one smart point and then I like my coffee flavored so I have actually been really liking these sweet drops so I've been adding about three quarters of a vial to my coffee it it is stevia so it does kind of have a weird aftertaste if you add too much so I about that's about perfect for the four shots and this of course is zero calories zero points so I add that to my coffee and that's what makes my coffee just one smart point for this big 24 ounce coffee one point so here is today's breakfast. So this is my blueberry protein breakfast quinoa bowl that I prepped in my meal prep. That was posted on Monday. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. There are some great recipes in there. So this is basically quinoa blueberry. It's made with some fresh lemon zest and honey, and I topped it just with some goji berries. So this entire breakfast bowl is five smart points. If you put a topping on that has points, make sure you add additional points for that but my goji berries are literally just dried goji berries so they are zero points so it's five points for my breakfast quinoa bowl and then I went ahead and cut in half two of my boiled eggs that I also made in meal prep that is zero points and we're gonna do a little water game today since we're doing a what I eat in a day I'm gonna show you every time I fill up my water jug because I want to know exactly how much water I'm drinking in a day so I think this is a 32 ounce so I have a Meyer lemon in there so that's water number one for the day because I just finished my coffee so my breakfast is going to be a total of five smart points so while we're filming a what I eat in a day, clean eating with the minimum number of smart points, I wanted to just take a second and just have a little talk with you guys while we're working on a what I eat in a day. So a lot of you have reached out to me and made comments and suggestions and questions as far as what can you possibly eat if you get the minimum number of smart points. So that's 23 on the blue plan, 30 on the green plan, or 16 on the purple plan. How can you possibly eat clean with the minimum number of smart points. So that's what prompted me to do this video. It was something that I wanted to do anyways and that was kind of on my radar. But with all of you reaching out and asking that same question, I wanted to share with you as soon as possible uh, what I eat in a day on the minimum number of smart points, all clean food. So there's a few things that I wanted to share with you guys that I have noticed since transitioning over to clean food. Yes, I get more smart points than the minimum. So that allows me a little bit more flexibility in the clean foods that I'm eating. I might be able to have nut butter every day, or I might be able to have full fat butter in my food where those of you that are on the minimum number of smart points may not be able to work that into your day. But it is completely doable, my friends. When you eat whole real food, you are a lot more satiated. If you didn't notice, I did not have a morning snack today. I literally had breakfast and then I had nothing until lunch other than water. And I've been doing good on my water, but I had nothing between breakfast and lunch because I'm so much more full from eating real food. Having 
fresh fruit and raw honey and quinoa and eggs made me full enough that it sustained me five hours between breakfast and lunch. Before I transitioned to clean eating, I would spend a lot of points on snacks. And I can bet a lot of you are doing the same thing. You are having two or three snacks a day plus a dessert at night. That's going to consume a lot of your points. So I think that that's where Maybe the misconception is that you can't eat clean on a minimum number of smart points. And you most certainly can because you'll feel a lot more full and satiated that you won't have to spend as many points on snacks and desserts. So in this video, I show you guys what I have for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I do have one snack in the afternoon and then I have a dessert with dinner. And I managed to do that all within the minimum number of smart points. And all of the food I ate was clean, whole foods. That generally means a little bit higher in smart points, but I was able to work them into my day. So you just have to pick and choose what you're eating. And also you guys lean on the zero point foods. Those are whole foods. They're clean foods that fall on that zero point food list. So no matter what plan you're on, really lean towards those zero point foods. It's going to help you feel satiated and try to eat a zero point food with every single meal, whether it be a snack, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe even dessert. Try to incorporate as many zero point foods as you can because you're gonna be a lot more full and you're gonna be able to have the points available for things such as nut butter, maple syrup, raw honey, full fat yogurt, those types of things. So I hope that this really helps put it into a little bit more perspective for you guys that it's definitely doable to eat clean on the minimum number of smart points on each plan. And you guys leave your comments, your questions down below. I'd love to help in any way that I can. And remember, you don't have to switch to clean eating entirely. You can take baby steps in doing so, but I really want you guys to know that you can do it with a minimum number of smart points and still feel full, satisfied, and be fueling your body with the best possible food that you can put into your body. I almost forgot to show you guys, I drank some of it already, water number two for the day. Here's lunch for today, it is noon, so I ate breakfast around seven. And as you saw, I did not have a morning snack because I'm just now getting hungry. So I'm having my meal prep, but first I'm having some pineapple here for zero. That's going to be my dessert, kind of my sweet treat with lunch. Then I have some of the roasted veggies. Again, this was in my meal prep that was posted on Monday. So these veggies are butternut squash, mushrooms, bro broccoli, wow, Brussels sprouts, and yellow and green zucchini. That's all zero, but then I did add some avocado oil, so I count my vegetables as one. And then I have three of my chicken French onion meatballs. Three meatballs with the sauce is four smart points. So that makes this a five smart point lunch. All right, guys, it's snack time. It's 3.02. I'm gonna be heading out the door to Jazzercise in less than an hour. And I've been great since lunch. I'm still not super hungry, but I wanna get something in my stomach before I go exercise. So this is the Coconut Almond Built Bar. This is three smart points. It's great that you can have a nut-based bar for three points because all of the other nut-based Built Bars are four points, which in my opinion is still well, well worth it. But the Coconut Almond is delicious. It's kind of like an Almond Joy. It's nice that you can work Built Bars in to your points even when you have just the minimum number on your plan because the points are so low, but they're packed with some great nutritional and some great macros. So 130 calories, 18 grams of protein, seven fiber, three sugar, and five fat. So they keep you nice and full. So I'm gonna have this as my afternoon snack after lunch. I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm taking with me to Jazzercise, and then we'll come home and have some dinner and dessert. But we are right on track, and we have eaten whole clean food all day today. Oh, and I forgot to mention, my code here on the screen gets you 10% off and free shipping on Built Bar. Save it, friends, because you can use it over and over again. And there's a link down in the description box that will take you right to Built Bar and apply the discount if that's easier. But let's have a Built Bar. Look at that. Mmm. 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 So good. I forgot to film. Water number five is over half gone. It's an hour later from water number four. I'm gonna finish this off and fill this up one more time. I'm gonna get everything ready that I take with me to Jazzercise. So I always take my blender bottle here. I'll find this on Amazon and link it down below for you guys. And then you guys know I love my huge 64 ounce mana water bottle. 
So I also take that completely full of water. And then before I walk out the door, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pre-workout to my shaker bottle, to my blender bottle. This is the My Adventure to Fit pre-workout in raspberry. This pre-workout is awesome. She is an influencer on Instagram. I will link this product down below for you guys. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna put one scoop in my blender bottle and then about 10 to 15 minutes before I start my workout, I'll dump some water from here into here and shake it up with my pre-workout and then I refill my blender bottle from my big water bottle for my workout and then after I'll show you guys what my post-workout BCAAs are and that's where I use the rest of this. So I will drink this 64 ounce bottle between my pre-workout, my workout and my post-workout. And the dogs want to say hello. Hey guys, I just got to Jazzercise and I kind of wanted to show you what I do with my pre-workout about how much water I add because I don't add a ton of water to this. And I'm going to go ahead and drink this really, really quick and then I'll refill this bottle up for my actual workout. So this is how much water I put in there. So you can see there's barely any in there and then I'll just give this a shake and I can get this drink really quick before I work out. All right, so my pre-workout is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my big water bottle here and I just take this and refill this. Just enough water to have for my workout. And there's still enough in my big bottle here. That's what I love about this for after my workout. And I'll show you guys my post-workout uh, as soon as I'm done at Jazzercise. So I'm gonna go bust my butt and I'll be back. All right, guys, Jazzercise is done. I look a hot mess, but I wanted to show you guys, this is my post-workout after Jazzercise. This is the Beyond Raw Precision BCAA, and this is in the flavor of watermelon. This stuff is seriously amazing. I am going to link this down below for you guys if you're interested in a post-workout. It really just helps with joint recovery, with recovery in general, gives you those BCAAs and all of the nutrients and vitamins that you burnt off. And I love the watermelon and the mango melon. They're both really, really good. So I'll definitely link this down below for you guys. And again, it's the Beyond Raw Precision BCAAs. All right, so here is my dinner. I just got home from Jazzercise. So I went ahead and made myself a barbecue pulled pork quesadilla with leftover barbecue pulled pork from last night's dinner. So you will see that, or you would have seen that in my What I Eat in a Day video. I'll post that down below in the description box. So I have half of a serving of the barbecue pork for two smart points. I put that in a La Tortilla Factory low carb tortilla. These are two smart points. These are just as big as the Olay Wellness but have much, much better ingredients. And then I have two points worth of the Great Value Organic Shredded Mozzarella Cheese for two points. So my quesadilla is a total of six points. And then I just have some tricolor organic cauliflower frozen from Walmart and I topped it with the everything but the Ellie Oat seasoning from Trader Joe's. No butter or anything, so that is zero. So my dinner is six smart points and this is number six for my water. So here's what I'm gonna have for dessert. I'm going to have two points worth of these dark chocolate nuggets, coconut and super seeds. I picked these up at Costco, but if I can find them on Amazon, I'll definitely link them down below for you guys. Here is what is in these and they have really, really good ingredients and they are absolutely delicious. So I'm going to weigh out on my food scale two points and that's going to finish my food for today. Life is a one.